Hey everybody, Mark's Back to Comics and I'm back. This time, I got a couple packages that came in the mail. One's um, modern and then the other two are golden age books. If you're interested in seeing what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, ended up getting a couple packages in the mail. Um, one is a modern, modern speculative book, and the other two are uh, golden age books. Some pretty scarce books, if you ask me. Um, how scarce? I don't know. Um, but uh, I'll uh, start with the modern book. Um, I'm going to open this up first. This one, like I said, it's a little bit on the speculative side. I got this book for... Uh, Real cheap, um, little worried because it came in the mail in a envelope, which uh, <laughs> always gets me a little worried when I get uh, packages like this with comics in it because um, you know they get tossed around when they go into shipping. So uh, I do feel some cardboard, so that is a little bit assuring. But. Uh, Nice. I don't. When I ship out packages, I don't. I don't ship out like this. I always put them out in the uh, Gemini Gemini mailers. But that's just me. I feel like people sometimes want to skimp out on on shipping, and and that really uh, drives me nuts. But um, all right. So what did I end up picking up? Uh, okay, let me just put that in there. All right, cool. So it is in cardboard <laughs> um, but uh, like I said not the best packaging this always like I said gets me a little worried unlike the second package which actually was two raw books and uh, they packaged it in the actual uh, uh, priority box so uh, that just shows you the difference between the two all right so, uh, this book has, like I said, a little bit of speculation behind it um, with the upcoming, uh, what do you call it, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Uh, so, it's a little bit of speculation. We all know by now, we've seen in the trailer, that um, the Illuminati is going to be showing up. Uh, we don't know what iteration of the Illuminati. We know that Professor X is going to be in there. I'm hoping. Sorry about that noise. It was quite loud. Hoping that. Uh, what do you call it? Mr. Fantastic. Reed Richards is going to be in there. Um, hopefully Black Panther's in it. Hopefully Namor's in it. Um, I don't know if any of those or. All of them are going to be in there, but um, I took a little bit of a chance because there were some rumors that um, I don't know if they're true. I think they were from Reddit, but um, there were some rumors that in the movie, the characters from the Illuminati, now these are alternate, alternate dimension characters for the most part, were going to die and only one was going to survive. And uh, that one was going to be Reed Richards. And, <coughs> excuse me. And this was going to end up being the bad one. So um, that ends up becoming the maker later on. So like I said, I had to do a little bit of research um, on this character because I am familiar with the maker. Uh, he was also in the uh, Ultimate Fallout and a few other recent series as well. But um, Reed Richards, if he does appear in uh, Multiverse of Madness, and he is in fact the last remaining character and he becomes evil um you are referencing to reed richards as the maker the first appearance doesn't show up until uh, ultimate comics ultimates number two so i took a shot at this one i think i paid 15 bucks and i picked this up this is like i said ultimate comics the ultimates number two this is as you can see the second printing so um, this was written by uh, Jonathan 
Hickman, and the artwork done by Ribic, Sod Ribic, which I like. I do like his artwork. Um, and uh, I believe this is a Drew. This is a carry. Yeah, a carry cover. Really nice. Um, so taking a small shot at this. Worst case is, you know, just fifteen bucks. But uh, I, I think it'll pick up some steam either way, leading up to the, leading up to the uh, actual movie. So that was my modern pickup, and it does look like it's in pretty, you know, pretty good shape considering, uh, you know, what I paid for it, and uh, it was delivered in an envelope. So uh, take that for what it's worth. Um, these next two books, like I said, I ended up uh, ended up picking up at the um, auction house. I did this. I do the previews for the. Uh, Bruno and Company Auction House, whenever they do come out with the comics, they usually do them, I want to say quarterly, if not more frequently. They've done them more, a lot more frequently in the last few months. <clears throat> and they do have another auction coming up, I believe, this upcoming week. So uh, I'll do a preview on that. It'll be a quick preview. It's going to be um, mainly uh, Marvel and some DC as well. So I'll do a preview on that. Just so you guys, if you see anything interesting, and I do these videos for you guys, so um, if you see anything you like, you can often pick it up at a good deal versus going to like eBay or or um, Heritage or something like that. So when I do put those out, uh, try to check out those videos. Most recent auction from them, um, they packaged them in those dreaded peanuts, but uh, I said two Robux and they packaged it. And one of these, unlike the other guy who packaged it in an envelope. So, shows you that some people care a little bit more than others. But uh, enough on that. Um, I picked up these two Golden Age books. Like I said, pretty, pretty scarce books. Um, you don't see them come up often for sale. And when they do, they're pretty pricey. Um, are they the scarcest? No, they're more. There's others out there, but um, I couldn't really pass it up for the price it was it it was in a singular lot two book lot they didn't have many golden age books up for sale in this auction but um, I paid I think it was a hundred I think it was a hundred and ten bucks got the invoice over here yeah hundred and ten bucks so I thought it was a pretty good deal they are lower grade but uh, let's check them out. And one's in uh, one's in pretty rough shape. All right. But uh, they're both, you know, like I said, one's pre-code horror, and one's like pre-code uh, war. So the first book. There we go. Eerie, eerie number. Six, and this is from Avon. So Avon's known for a lot of great, you know, pre-code horror covers. So uh, you can see it is in rough shape. Obviously, it's like torn on the side; it's missing a little chunk there. Um, but the main aspect of it, obviously, is the big monster, and then obviously the woman there in distress, she's holding a lantern, and it's just a really creepy cover. So um, that was the first book. I'm going to take that out real quick and just take a look at it. They, um, I believe they estimated these at a 2 well, which um, is not bad considering, as you can see, the, <laughs> the piece there is, uh, is uh, out. And um, the cover is detached but I essentially got this for $55 so two books for 110 bucks that's including auction fees that's including shipping so pretty good purchase if you ask me um, and it's uh, also what do you call it detached from the back so 
I am not mad about that. I think that's great. Um, but uh, I'm going to put that back in the... I'm going to put that back in the actual sleeve. All right. So, like I said, I put this back now in the sleeve. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really too worried about it. But the one concern, obviously, it's brittle pages. Um, the front and back cover are detached. And I, I think it'd be a great candidate for just conservation just because of, like, it's such an old book. This I had to do a little bit of research. It, it's from 1952. It does have Michael Becker, Vin Salacia, and Sid Check artwork. Um, not sure who did the actual cover, but, uh, it's, it's an early, you know, pre-code horror and, um, these are just getting harder and harder to find. So like I said, I ended up, um, getting both of these for all in 110 bucks. So you can't really go wrong. Um, the second book I thought was very interesting. Um, I've, I've been like looking for this book, you know, for a while, just not trying to, pay some of the crazy prices that I see um, on eBay for it, but um, ended up picking this up. This is, is this tomorrow? Uh, the, no number, it's just this single issue. Um, so is this tomorrow? It's by Cathetical Guide is the press. It's, um, and you can see at the bottom, America under communism. It's, it's a really cool cover. Um, Basically, it's a 52-page promotional giveaway intended as a warning to U.S. citizens uh, of the infiltration of communist ideology in American culture. So this does have a little bit of um, historical significance, um, obviously, from the time period that it did come out. This is during, obviously, the Cold War, or right, right around, it was just after World War II. This is from 1947. Um, the artist is Charles Schultz, and, uh, this would be just an interesting read. Uh, I'll probably open this up. It is a low grade. It's around, uh, 2.0 to 2.5, whereas that one I said it was a 2.0. It's not a 2.0. It's, it's like a 0.5 to 1.0. It's a really low grade just because of the condition. But this is also a really cool book. Um, never seen it really out in the wild, you know at conventions or anything like that. Um, so it's pretty cool to see that up for auction. And uh, this one is actually attached. Um, if you look at the back, this is pretty interesting. Fight communism with the Ten Commandments of Citizenship. <laughs> and uh, I'll put this up close if you guys want to take a read of the uh, the uh, Ten Commandments of Citizenship, which is, I think is pretty hilarious. Um, it does uh, it does look like uh, there's a little bit of a little drawing, a little A on there, which is uh, which is fine. It looks like a pencil; it could probably just come right out. But uh, this is really cool. Um, I'll have to, like I said, when I get a, a little bit of time, just you know, open it up and read it. Colors are still really nice and clean, and um, that's just really sweet. Really cool pickup, but uh, that's it for today. Um, so, like I said, three books I picked up. Um, let's see. Is this tomorrow? A really cool pre-code horror, Eerie number six. And a little spec book, Ultimate Comics, issue number two. So uh, that's it for this time. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark's with the Comics. Out.